That is the perfect shot. So it's 10 p.m. right now. I'm just outside doing some astrophotography, trying to capture the stars in all their glory. It needs a little bit of work, but you can see it perfectly. Look at that little nebula. I'm just doing some tests with different settings and different um, setups for the camera because I'm pretty new to astrophotography in general and I've only done it one other time before and the photos didn't turn out too well. I was kind of just experimenting once again but there was a lot of light spill there and here there's absolutely nothing. But my dream shot is just a nice shot of the Milky Way. You, have you seen those shots on the internet? You know whether it's just got all the stars and then you can see the Milky Way clearly. It's vibrant and colorful that's the type of shot that I want to get I've got this app on my phone called Skyview and what it allows you to do is when you look around with it it allows you to see the stars lining up with the actual stars in the sky so you can see all the different stars I'm gonna keep playing around with the settings until we get something good what the f <laughs> your forehead is even larger <laughs> Whoa, I am from the future. Okay, so the photos are looking freaking awesome. Look at that. We finally got a nebula in the photo. We tried some different locations, angles over the water, getting some of the boats and some of the reflections off the water. They looked really cool. There is one shot that I want to perfect, and that's this shot right here. Right now, it's a bit out of focus, a little bit blurry. The lens of choice for these photos will be the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. It's just the default lens, but it's the widest angle I have, the 18 millimeter. And honestly, with these photos, because it's dark, I don't think the quality of the lens actually matters too much. As long as we can get those stars to pop, we should be right. Bravo 6, going dark. So the verdict from that shoot is, uh, the sky moves. But luckily we did get a cool shot of the nebula just in the sky because it happened to have moved all the way over the top of us, which is pretty cool. But then again, I am looking at it through a tiny camera screen, so it could very well be out of focus and we could have very well f***ed the entire thing up. So, <laughs> isn't that um, optimistic? Uh, I'm gonna edit them in the morning because I think it's time for bed. Good morning. Okay, that's kind of depressing. Let's move on to the, that's, is this one any better? Why does this look out of focus? There's so much noise. Holy crap. Dude. Ah. Hopefully if these clouds just stay away, the nebula might be in the same spot tonight and then we can try again. Best settings for astrophotography. Use a fast aperture. What? I probably should have looked at this beforehand. I didn't realize you need a wide aperture. By the looks of it, I'm doing everything pretty much right except for the aperture. I'm using like 22 because I thought it would be hard to get all the stars in focus, but I guess I was wrong. And this is why it's important to learn from other people's mistakes, so you don't have to go out and make those mistakes yourself like I just stupidly did. So you can learn from me or learn from Google or wherever and hopefully don't make those mistakes when you go out shooting. It'll just help speed up your process of making your photos better. So as you can see here, there's not too many clouds in the sky so hopefully we'll get some nice astro photos of the sky. Uh-oh. We're back down at the water for our final attempt at this damn photo. So let's give it a shot. So what I've done is I've put the aperture down as far as it can go down to 2.8 and I've lowered the ISO a lot as well to hopefully get rid of that noise. I think we did it. Oh, we definitely did it. By the way, if you can't tell, I'm back home now. Needless to say, that is the perfect shot that we wanted. The settings that we used to get those perfect shots are right here. These settings are the ones that we perfected. I'd say that's a successful shoot. What the? Oh, you better not. Oh my god. Oh, the, the window's closed, bro. No, you're gonna have to come back. Oh, 